That's the move if Kiara said we all in Lifestyle, hair, nails, and new makeup They ain't coming, how you coming, babe, don't change up Thank you for tuning in to Kiara said uh, Soft girl going hard for my family More trips, more love and understanding From my G to YouTube, it's Kiara said Here Kira says, and today I just wanted to get out of the house. I was having a lovely morning, but you know what? <laughs> no, it's better that we that I get up and get out of the house and um, bring the kids with me and see what we get into. But first, I wanted to show you guys. Um, you want a matcha brew or um, unsweet tea? Oh, wait. After she orders, um, can I do? You want taller or grande? Grande. Can I do a grande ice matcha? But can I do almond milk instead of the sand? Do a grande ice vanilla latte? Okay, so I just want to shout out this foundation really quick because I grabbed it. Um, I don't even, this has always been in my makeup bag, but I just go over it and use other stuff but I'm out of everything so today I use this yeah. and oh my goodness the pro matte infallible I feel like it blended I did have to mix it with this one other color just because it's not exactly my color but I mostly use this and I just feel like it did me so right today and I know it was cheap because I'd I be buying cheap shit so it must be it must have been a CVS and so thank you this is definitely your worth it so if you're thank looking you. for some <laughs> inexpensive foundation oh and my lip gloss for today is the fenty um wheat mouth and that's instead of an s it's a dollar sign like let me see i don't know anyone who looks as good as you with jugstar foundation thanks you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> seriously okay so this is <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is the sweet mouth. Um, ah, it's so cute. You guys look, it's just, it's just so cute for every day. It's every day, girl. <laughs> I love this. Yes, so this and this. Yes, get shouted out today. If this is on Amazon, I will be linking it in my description. Where's everybody? I don't know. That's in Grandma house. Where's Jaja and Nana? Nana is in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom. She's in the bathroom. Okay. Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you happy to see me? This girl, she's so sweet. She makes me feel so special. It's so loud. Huh? Ah. Nana. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys really quick how good the Lotta Body works. I was talking about it in my last video, but I, I didn't have enough to really show you guys. Okay, so here's her hair before. Through here, she's like a 3C, and then up top, she's like a 4A, 4B, more like mine. So I'm gonna put Lotta Body over everything, and then you'll see how it'll define everything out. Okay, so first I'm gonna start off by just putting it in before I comb it out. So right here, I'm just using my fingertips to 
pull her curl like to separate her curls detangle them and also define them um, don't worry about the white residue it dries pretty quick and it doesn't leave any type of flaking or white residue behind but you definitely want to concentrate it in their hair and let it air dry after you pick through the curls with your fingers that's my favorite way to do it This store just opened up and it's supposed to be a massive beauty supply store. Look at the car. Now this right here, this is how you advertise. Oh my God, this is so cute. I want to take pictures in front of it. <laughs> Ooh, oh my God, this is so big. I need that right there. I need it. Ooh, what? Oh my God, this is like the beauty supply stores of all beauty supply stores. Can you guys see a nice hair? I'm gonna go in the light. <laughs> Nana! Nana, show. Oh yeah, you see, you already know. You already know. <laughs> an eye, an eye. An eye. Ooh, here's the dress that I need. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gonna have a good time in this. I use I use the curl stretcher cream. No one ever has it. Ask but the, but the these work counter. good too. Here, and ask. this works good too yeah. as an alternative. But, but yeah, the ask. stuff that I want is always sold no, out. I don't really fuck counter, with the blue please. bottles that much, but ask the man at the Nana, you want those? Let me see. You like these? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to show you guys her hair if she would stand still. Nana, stand still. Stand still. Okay. Okay, look how beautiful it made her curls. Look at that. Wait. <laughs> she would hold still. Nana. Nana. And I. Okay. I think y'all get the y'all get the picture, right? Look at that. Perfection. She really thinks I'm about to buy her these beads too. That's funny. We're at the I'm going to the coach outlet right now. It's gonna be um, my girlfriend and my husband's birthday <laughs> is actually the same weekend. So, um, but for Aja, I got her a new purse and a new wallet because she just doesn't care about stuff like that. So I know she wouldn't do it for herself. And she doesn't even care about like what, where the purse or wallet comes from. She just likes like a good quality so she can wear it forever like a man. Um, I figured Coach Outlet's perfect for little little sturdy wallets and bags. So I got her um, a backpack purse, a wallet, and I'm gonna see if they can gift. I ordered it online, so now I'm at the actual store to see if they can gift wrap it. Oh wait. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, my boobs hanging out. Wait. <laughs> so yeah, they sent it in this ugly ass bag. So let's see if we can get it cuter, get it wrapped up cuter. Here's 
the wallet. So nice. Three dollars. Look at my son just sitting, behaving, not going anywhere, not yelling. Look at that. Look at that. Say cheese. <laughs> Look here, she keep kicking her shoes on there getting dirt back. I know. Here's some more of the curls. Oh yeah, it came out yeah, really good. I know. That's because you but used But look, the can you guys see the two differences now in the textures? What? Like the bottom is, um, I was telling you, the bottom's like three C, and then the top is four A. But that's how everybody's hair is. It's a few what? textures. Yeah. Oh, different? My hair is like that too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like three or four textures. Yeah, there, here we go. See? Bottom versus top. I love it. Top. I, I love <laughs> that's it so weird. Too. That's crazy. Really yeah. Much well, when you put that lot of body on it, you have to do nothing else but that. It makes your, it makes your curls. Mm -hmm. Let me also shout out my diaper bag. It's a little dirty. Um, but I love this diaper bag, and I feel like it's just so cute for a little hot fly mom on the go, you know, from Miss Fong. I'm gonna, if I'm this, the link for this will be in my description if it's still for sale. So check that out. It has all the pockets you need for everything, but I feel like the the fact that it's cute is the most important. Ja, where are you going? <laughs> oh, wow. Good. Let your sister have some. Oh, you like it? <laughs> mm. Just waiting patiently. Oh, so nice. It don't taste that good. It don't? <laughs> Keep going straight, 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 straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You got it. Good job. Okay, open the door for her. Hold the door open for her like a gentleman. Ladies first. Good job, Joppa. Okay. Good Wait. job. Say thank you, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Say thank you. Thank you. Love this dress. I love the color. I want to start wearing more pinks. I've already been doing it, but definitely want to. Can I try this one? Okay, I don't know why I grabbed a small. <laughs> but imagine in a medium. This dress did not look this small on the 
rack, by the way. That's why I grabbed a small, but it's so tight when you put it on, but I love this. Oh, and there goes my baby. It's 5.30. He forced me out of bed. <sighs> Getting fired up, man. I like got 24 days. And I was so out. irritated. I'd be so mad at him, but then when I finally get here, I'd be happy. He's a big reason why I've lost my baby weight. Cause <laughs> yeah, 24 days. Watch the transformation. He forces me. Yes. Yeah, he's working on his stuff too. We've been getting comfortable. Watch. Show him your before. Wait, what do you want to change, boo? You want to uh, lose shit, some? You know, I'm like, Wait, he he been eating. Been eating, but also been losing yeah. muscle because I ain't been working out. So, 30 day challenge. We've been working out every day, no yeah. days off. Even on our days off, we're doing something at the house. You feel me? Yeah. Mind but for some reason, so. my appetite's been gone. Let me show you guys something. Look at this. I'm just so proud of it because I've been collecting all these pink things. <laughs> I need a pink bag. Like, why did I start with a black bag? But anyway, I'm really happy about all this. But the pre workout's kicking in, so let's do something. What's up you guys? I'm here at the laundromat. Well, I have a bad habit of letting my laundry get backed up to the point where it's either going to take me like all day long, maybe two days to do laundry, or I can just go to the laundromat and get it all done in like an hour and a half. So let's get this over with. You're like a character at this point on my show. People already know who you are. Everyone talks about how funny my mom is all the time. Here, I'm not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why does everybody think I'm funny? She don't want to be in the camera. Say cheese. <laughs> You're just standing by this wall, boo boo. You ready to help mommy wash some clothes right now? 
Yes, yes or no? <laughs> Thumbs down? You're not gonna help Thumbs me? Thumbs down. Okay, you're not gonna play Xbox later? I wanna play Xbox. Okay, then you need to help me. Yeah. Why don't you find, here, come here. You need to find well, something to way, do. Yep. Okay, and then wait right there. Right there, say cheese. <laughs> you guys look cute. No. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I gotta put it closer so it's glowing. Yeah. It gave me this more because I only put one point. Yeah, it only gave you a couple because you only put a dollar. Here, let me see. But I wanted your money to get more. <laughs> Here, put them in our money pouch. No, it's mine. Ju <laughs> and I forgot how expensive this shit is. I'm going to start doing my laundry and shit. I feel like I already, I spent like $50. I got like $3 in quarters. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. Let's This is my what? problem. I was like, oh, I'm going to come here. I'm going to sort everything. I love you, please. I'm going to sort everything. I'm going to put everything. I'm going to hey, use fabric softener. I just hey, shoved all favorite. this shit you're in favorite. the washing machine. And I'm already tired. I'm already done. My favorite candy. I'm candy. already done. <laughs> here, here, here. Okay, look at my... My hands are turning black from touching all those quarters. I feel disgusting. And I did all that. I got like... <laughs> A million dollars in quarters, and then I read my. I see this sign that says, "Oh, if you just download this app, you don't have to use quarters." So, of course, I feel like I always end up doing everything the hard way. Like <laughs> even when I try to do things the easy way, I still end up doing them the hardest way possible. What a big, big counter Jesse is! Yay! right here give you guys life advice tips because some of y'all are younger than me and I just feel like giving out free game today and I've been seeing so much on TikTok and Instagram about like how a marriage is supposed to work and how you're supposed to live your life and all this stuff so I decided that what is so funny <laughs> I'm not equipped to give life advice I'm not Mama. laughing at you Kim. Mama. <laughs> anyway Mama. 
Why are you laughing? Like it's so funny. Okay. I'm getting up there in age. Okay. Here, what a wet bag. I'm thirty-nine and thirty-nine. I'm a <laughs> thirty-five, and I feel like it's time. Like I can give advice now. Why not? That's a focus. <laughs> no, we do. Oh, look, my skirt. I've been. <laughs> This skirt? Oh, from Forever 21, by the way, but I worked the Barbie movie, and when I went out, it's, this is a good buy. Anyway. That's too short for a mother of two kids, honey. You need to slow it down. Oh, Real so this is too short for a mother with kids, so that brings Here, me to look, my first tip. Yeah. Wear what you want and do what you want, because at the end of the yeah. day, what does it matter? My skirt's too short, my shorts are too short, and the world's gonna keep spinning. I wear what I wear that I like and makes me comfortable and happy. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about it. That's tip number one. Okay, tip number two, fuck with the people that fuck with you. Fuck with the people that fuck with you. Nobody else matters except the people in your life that like just say, genuinely love you no matter the what. Like, they think you're great or they just always got your back. That's usually only going to be a family member. If you're lucky, you might find a friend or two in your lifetime. But those are the only people that matter. Those are the only people that should be getting your loyalty. Those are the people that you should be prioritizing. And, watch your kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me and my mom are so close now. After oh after I grew up, had kids, now we're close. But like, she's been the one person that's been there from day one. So we could have just been kicking it BFFs from day one. <laughs> we had. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Because no, where's everybody else I started off with? Are, are they here helping me do laundry? No, my yeah, mama. That. That's the people you want to check up on, call, visit, prioritize, <laughs> spend time with. Uh, fuck with the people that fuck sit with you. Down, sit down, sit down. And also, when it comes to dating, love is great and everything, but you want to, when you finally settle down and have kids, that person needs to be low key obsessed with you. Not like in a crazy way, but you need to be walking on water. Like they'll drink your bath water type of like, like they're lucky to even have you in their life. Like people with that type of energy that look at you in that way. That's the only person you want to truly consider when it comes time to settle down. And it's okay to be with someone that maybe loves you a little more than you love them. I mean, I don't like to measure, but like, especially with a man, you want a man that is going to see you as this diamond, not the man that you feel like you're constantly having to, you know, be, in, be at your best for, you know, or please him or convince him these, to uh, like you. We can call these, uh, you want the man that when you wake up in the morning looking crazy, at your worst, he's still looking at you like you're just. Here, no, no, no. You're telling the girls wrong. What am I? What am I saying wrong? What you need to be telling them is you need to find a man that will do everything for you and don't worry about looks. First of all, a that's man what that I ain't said. So nice looking is probably the best one. She's talking you. about a man that's not so nice, but you can't. You can't. It's not a good idea to, to have kids and marry someone that you're not attracted. I mean, you yes, could. Sir, that's okay. Some people can do that, but most that's of okay. us eventually are going to get. That's okay. Most of most celebrities that are not attractive, they have beautiful girlfriends and, and handsome. Yeah, because they have money. I'm talking about money normal ma people. Money makes you like, makes you glow up. Normal people like that. Money makes you glow okay. up. Okay. Um. Yeah, you want that person that that loves you. For yeah. who you are right now, where you are, Please how you look, long, yeah. and then as you improve, they're just gonna love you more because they already love you where you're starting. You don't want to settle down, have kids with, marry the person that you feel like you're always having to uh, prove yourself to. Or yeah, okay, here, here. okay. Next bit of advice: I spent six long years in college, and the thing about Wait, college, <laughs> she just like wasted time. Wasted time. Here's the thing about college, if you're on your way in or already in, listen. Don't do it. <laughs> it's not a waste of time. We we all walk around thinking we know everything. You don't know shit. It's always good to ex expand your mind, you know, become less Don't ignorant. do it. 
learn as much as you can about as many different topics and always keep yourself humble to learning new information. Go in like you're just the dumbest person and soak up as much as you can, okay? Let me tell you what makes you a better can. person, but listen, regardless of what your major is, college is a benefit to your brain and your development as an adult person, but listen, okay, can I finish my... Use that money you're gonna use for college. But the thing is, when it comes to your major, um, you need to, most people, and I did this, I put I put more focus in just picking something and finishing and getting that degree than I did. <laughs> Mom, I'm not gonna be able to use none of this if you keep talking. Um, I put more focus into the journey rather than the destination. So you need to, if there's a major you're interested in or a career you're interested in, you need to search how much money that job makes and then what your life would be like after taxes get the net income average in your area and then check out do the math to figure out cost of living in your area and what that net income what type of lifestyle Stop you would it. have you'll find unfortunately that most majors are leading you nowhere fast <laughs> you might get a good education and have a good experience okay. and, you know but you're gonna graduate and you're gonna be paycheck to paycheck if you don't put all of your effort and energy into researching what your life would look like if you were to choose that certain career. And you wanna choose a career and major that makes sense to your personality. It might sound good to be a teacher or a lawyer or a doctor or whatever, but like, do you have the personality to handle that? Do you have the life, the lifestyle you want? Could it handle that type of job? You know, you wanna think about the end result and I feel like when you're young it's hard we tend to think about right now today or short short term you just want to think long term um if you don't have kids yet my advice <laughs> people say see people say stuff like that because it, it is so hard I don't think it's that you don't have them it's that you before you have kids <laughs> Or after you at least have one, once you get that experience of what one is like, take it very seriously, like how many you think you can manage alone. I don't care if you're married, boyfriend, you have a village behind you. Don't have more kids than you can handle by yourself. It's like right now I'm in a laundry mat. It's a little crazy. My two kids are running around, but I can, for the most part, manage two kids. Even when it gets crazy, like it's hard, but like, Two is my personal limit alone. So I'm not having more than two and I don't care if I'm married. Like I can manage two, so that's all I'm all that's coming out is two. Okay. Okay, next tip. Always have your own money. Even if you date people with money. Always have your own savings account. And that's your business. Nobody else needs to know about that. And if you're gonna specifically look for a partner with money because I've been seeing that a lot lately like I like that lady that like sprinkle sprinkle that lady on TikTok she's so funny I like her but um and the advice is great honestly like listen to her her name is Shira Seven um the only thing with that is you know always make sure that you still have something going for yourself, some source of income, some way, somehow, even if it's a little bit. Never let someone, especially a man, have like full financial control over you. It's just not a good idea. Okay. You're gonna change. Stop that. Stop that. You're gonna change every, I would say, like five to seven years. It's like, Mentally, I don't know, you go through a shift. I mean, if if things are done the right way, you grow, you mature, you gain wisdom, and you change. Your mindset starts to change. You look back okay. at things you did in the past and they're cringy to you now and they were normal when you were doing them. Um, so just keep that in mind and don't, and everyone is gonna go through this, everyone changes. So don't get too hung up on things you may have done in the past. That doesn't define who you are now. We all change. It's all about the type of person that you are today. And you should always just try to strive to be the best version of yourself right now. And fuck what happened in the past. That was you yesterday. That person don't exist no more.
This is for the moms. This shit is hard. Um, one thing that I do that I feel like really helps my mental health, helps me stay just positive and nice and light all the time, even helps me be a little bit like of, of a parent on the gentle side, is doing prioritizing me time. I try to do like at least one thing for myself a day. My goal is three things. So right now it might be, I might wake up and go to the gym and then go through my whole day. And then even if it's at 5.30 in the morning, I'm still gonna wake up because you have to prioritize yourself and your own needs the way you prioritize your kids' needs, which is hard, I know. But it's, it's just life changing if you're struggling with feeling overwhelmed and just irritated with everybody. Um, you gotta wake up at 5.30, wake up at 5.30. So I might go to the gym and then in the evening after work, I'll like do a mask. I'll like buy a nice mask and do those to sit in the bathtubs. That's another thing. And then I might um, go for a walk. I've been walking a lot just around my block. That is huge. I don't know what it is. I've always heard people say walk for your mental health. And I just like whatever, but I just started actually doing it and it really works. Like just even a little 10 minute walk. But yeah, try to think of three things that you could do in a day that would make you feel Why? good and happy that are just Stay all about here. you. Stay on that bench. And do them. I'm gonna, um, I'm about to buy, I, I do pole dancing too, like for fun. And um, I'm about to go back to it. And hopefully I can take you guys with me because that's one thing that I do that's just amazing. Just all the way around. Just I'll go more into like why I feel like every woman should be, should take a pole dancing class at least once. But that's the other thing I'm, so I'm so I, so mainly I do gym, pole dance, and then I'll take walks or I'll do self care. You wanna know what the biggest strength is in life? Like something that you can work on that's gonna literally carry you through life, parenthood, womanhood, all of your relationships. The main thing you should focus on perfecting before you go down any of those roads. Emotional control. If you have a tendency to, um, whenever you're faced with whatever your trigger is, we all have our triggers, whatever triggers you and sets you off, if you get to a point where you start to not have that much control over your actions because that rage is just like, taken over like if that's kind of a normal thing for you when you get upset you need to be in therapy you need to be working on healing you don't need to be worried about a relationship having kids you definitely shouldn't be having kids because they will set you off every day people that can control themselves and and pick and choose when they're gonna pick and choose how they show up to situations like they're the one in control even if someone's coming at them they are still remaining calm if they want to be calm they pop off when they want to pop off but at the end of the day they are in complete control of their actions every time those are going to be the strongest people and the people that will have the most peace in life they not having a baby here's what you need and i'm listing these in the order of importance number one is mental and emotional health and stability if you struggle with anxiety depression um uh, and a short temper you don't need to have children don't do it to yourself they will only make your life harder you just be focusing on healing those things um, you should be focusing on those things so in these moments when your child's screaming you can laugh and not lose your shit please don't have a baby if you struggle with those things Sorry, y'all, my phone died, but at least it's quiet now. I'm back at my mom's house. <clears throat> I made myself some, like, let me show you guys my food. I just made some chicken and noodles with peppers. It's actually so good, though. Yeah, my baby's asleep. My son's watching TV. Like, I thrive in silence. I feel like I thrive being alone because I, I'm able to just kind of be in my head a lot like I can solve my own problems completely by just talking to myself I don't be needing anybody so I thrive in my me time so um having two little ones that like completely like take up the space and are always noisy like it can be so overstimulating 
if you're thinking about having kids you want to know like realistically the top like i'll do like four or five things that you should have in mind first mental emotional health if you have issues with anxiety depression um you know like to a point where it's kind of more on the serious side and issues with your temper like not being able to control your temper um no you're not ready to have kids don't do it um you should be uh like i said before just focusing on trying to work on those things and not even really being in a relationship either but um yeah you should have that financial stability but you don't gotta be rich like i'm not rich don't feel like you have to make a certain number my kids are um almost five and almost two and you know over like over the five years i've had kids my income has naturally increased right and um it hasn't been this super expensive journey so far kids probably get more expensive as they get older i don't know what it's like to raise older kids but um when you have little ones just you know you just want to you, you want to be in a place where you have a safe living environment and you have something left over after you take care of your living expenses to where you could go and buy a pack of diapers buy formula when you need to um but you don't gotta be rich a village is nice a village is very much needed but if you and when i say village mom grandma somebody around to help you someone that will willingly watch your kid not that you have to kind of force or bribe but someone that is in your life that would care enough about a child that you gave birth to that to where they'd want to watch that child like if, if you have to like bribe the person or beg them they don't count as a village but um if you don't have a village um, or if you do, but you don't have child care, child care is a big thing you want to think about. The maternity leave and child care system in America sucks ass. It's so fucked up. I was shocked. I never thought about it as a young woman because why would I? But when I had to first sign up for maternity leave, I was like, what the is this? Like 60% of your income, if that for a couple weeks, and then you got to hand your newborn over to some stranger at some daycare that costs as much as your, or more than your rent so you can go back to work to pay for the daycare like it's really fucked up um and it's just wise to kind of look into what your child care options are in your area um before preferably but at least really early on in your pregnancy like you should be applying for places while you're pregnant if, if they let you or at least applying for programs but a lot of the government ran programs out here um they, they do kind of fuck you over. So just keep that in mind where your child's gonna be um, at least like those first two years when you have to pay the most for childcare. And um, cause that'll cause a lot of stress and havoc in your life. You're having to pay bills and now figure out how, where your baby's gonna go, um, obviously. And then last health insurance. If you're young and healthy, you're probably not thinking about it, but your job might have a very shitty healthcare plan with high deductibles, high co-pays, all that. Um, if that's the case, do not have a baby on that insurance plan. Go get Medicaid if you have to, or if there's other options, if you have to switch jobs, like don't, you don't want to go into all this debt to have a child. And I mean, just the birth alone is thousands of dollars. So imagine if you were to have any complications or anything like that, or if you were, had to be out of work for a while, I told you the disability maternity program is shit here. I'm just telling you young women who want to have kids one day like mental emotional health somewhat of financial stability child care or think about who your village would be if you would have a village um and whether you do or you don't what your child care options would be in your area and make sure you have a decent health care policy that's not going to leave you in outrageous amounts of debt just because you're giving birth but thank you guys for hanging out with me doing my laundry and listening to me and if you made it to the end of this video that's really cool and i love you guys i'll see you in about a week or so bye have a good day good weekend